Administration of Google Drive Connector Creating OAuth In IICS, we use the Google Drive Connector to connect to the Google Drive through the IICS Data Integration Services. With the help of the Google Drive Connector, we can create new files and update existing ones, read data and write data to Google Drive, upload, download and fetch files, get permissions on files and update or fetch the details of file revisions. We can use a Google Drive object as a source and a target in synchronization tasks, mapping tasks and mappings. Before we create a Google Drive connection, we must ensure that we enable the Google Drive connector in our org. To check that, log in to IICS and select Administrator Services. In the Add-on Connectors tab, scroll down to Google Drive Connector. Observe that this connector is available for our org. If the connector is not available, then select the free trial option that enables the connector for 30 days. When the free trial expires, contact the Informatica Global Customer Support Sales Representative to enable the connector. To create a Google Drive connection in IICS, we must generate the client ID, client secret and refresh token from the Google Cloud Platform. In a web browser, open the URL as shown on the screen and log in to the Google Cloud Platform account. On the Google Cloud Platform home screen, in the navigation pane, select APIs and Services. Select the Enable APIs and Services option and search for Google Drive API to enable it. Observe that we have this API enabled for our account. If the API is not enabled, we have an Enable button to enable the API for further use. Navigate back to the APIs and Services dashboard and from the navigation pane, select Credentials. Now, we will create an OAuth client ID. From the Create Credentials drop-down, select OAuth client ID. Here, we will create it for a web application. Specify a name for the client ID and in the Authorized Redirect URLs field, enter the URL as shown on the screen. This is the path in our application that the users are redirected to after they have authenticated with Google. Observe that the OAuth client pop-up mentions the client ID and the client secret. Copy these fields and paste them in a notepad file. Thus, we have created a new OAuth client. Let us now generate the refresh token that we use when we create the Google Drive connection. In a web browser, open the URL as shown on the screen. This is the same URL that we specify in the Authorize Redirect URLs field when we create the client ID. This opens the Google Developer's OAuth 2.0 Playground. To configure the settings, select the Access Type as Offline, Force Prompt as Select Account Screen, and select the Use Your Own Auth Credentials option. Here, we must copy the client ID and the client secret that we generate in the previous step. Scroll down to Drive API v3 and select the APIs as shown on the screen. These APIs are used to connect to Google Drive and access the Google Drive metadata through IICS. When we authorize these APIs, it redirects us to the Google login page. We log in to our account and proceed with step 2. To obtain the refresh token, click Exchange Authorization Code for Tokens. Copy the refresh token and paste it in the notepad file. Now, we'll create the Google Drive connection. Log in to IICS and select Administrator Services. In the New Connection page, specify the details of the connection and select the type. Select the Runtime Environment and specify the Client ID, Client Secret and the Refresh Token. 
specify the file download and upload path. This is the directory where the file will be downloaded to or uploaded from. Test the connection. As the test is successful, we will save the connection. In this way, we can generate the client ID, client secret and refresh token to configure the administrative settings of the Google Drive connector and create a Google Drive connection.